We're learning more about the victims of an attack that targeted a bus in Jerusalem. Eight people were wounded, and the State Department confirms five of them are Americans from Brooklyn. CBS News' Elijah Westbrook has new reaction from people who know the victims and the latest on their conditions. This Satmar community in Williamsburg, a Hasidic sect of Orthodox Judaism, is encouraging everyone to pray for the victims in Saturday's Jerusalem attack. A two-time cancer survivor, a dad, and a pregnant woman are among the victims. The community is in devastation that one of our congregants and his family were shot in Jerusalem. I spoke with Abraham Rosenberg, an activist for this Brooklyn Jewish community outside of Congregation Satmar on Hooper Street. It's also where Shi'i Hirsch Glick went, a cancer survivor who was shot Saturday night while waiting for a cab at a bus stop in Jerusalem. We hear of devastation going on in Israel from terrorist attacks quite often happening, but when it hits home, to people that live in our community, it's way more devastating. The horrific attack is getting the attention of leaders like Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, who says Glick tried shielding his wife, son, and daughter from the bullets. He was shot in the neck, but and they had him on a respirator, but it looks like he will his condition is improving. Community leader Isaac Abraham spoke with us over the weekend and tells us he's related to the Glick family by marriage, and the trip to Jerusalem was meant to be a time of prayer ahead of the milestone. He also tells us a pregnant mother from Borough Park, Brooklyn, was also shot in the abdomen and had an emergency C-section. We're being told she and the child are in serious condition. This should not happen. It should not happen that when you go into a religious place, a mosque, a church, a synagogue, a shul, any place. Israeli police say the suspect turned himself in and the weapon he carried with him was recovered. They also say he's not known for any terror-related offenses, but does have a criminal record. New York City Mayor Eric Adams tweeted over the weekend saying the city stands with Israel. And as of today, all of the Americans who were injured in this horrific attack are expected to survive. In Williamsburg, Brooklyn, Elijah Westbrook, CBS2 News.